Learn English in just 30 days? Speak like a native with only 100 sentences? Become fluent with a few magic sentences? Oh, come on! It's time to wake up to the reality behind these two good-to-be-true offers. Don't be fooled. Stick with me to learn what really works. I usually don't speak English on YouTube channel, but today I have a sudden urge to speak English. Honestly, when I speak English, I feel more excited about it and I feel like I can really connect to myself better. And I feel like this is real me and I'm being honest. So here's the video that I was really, I felt touched. I resonate with this guy. I mean, as you can see, you know, he is the most popular English YouTuber, English education YouTuber in Korea. And I have a huge respect for this guy. And not only is he able to speak English like a native English speaker, but also the way he has been presenting his philosophy of learning English and also all the great expressions real life expressions that he has delivered i mean you know he is by far the best teacher english teacher i've ever come across here in south korea so i adore this guy i respect this guy as much as you respect him um so here's the reaction video when i came across this part while i was watching his video but honestly i don't watch his video you know, and I used to watch his video uh, every once in a while back in the day when he first came up as a YouTuber explaining English because a lot of people they were talking about it. So as a person who was constantly researching a really great content where I can learn something from and he was one of those guys that I came across and uh, I was watching some of his videos and uh, Oh wow, he's really really good. But anyway, uh, yeah, I didn't watch his videos uh, for several, maybe like a couple years. And yesterday, <laughs> I don't know why, uh, you know, his a uh, video just popped up. You know, his YouTube thumbnail popped up. His thumbnail, by the way, it's pretty good. You know, uh, it's much better than uh, those old videos. And anyway, so I came across this video and I was watching his video and this part, particularly this part, was what I want to talk about because I can relate to him and I can relate to his comment. So let's watch his video and I will stop in the middle and I will comment on that. You see, you have to get it out of your head that you can only learn from a teacher or from something that has been designed to teach you English. You got to get that out of your head. You got to get yourself out of that, out of that trap, out of that pit. Here he said, you have to get something. You have to get these thoughts out of your brain that you learn English from teachers, coaches. I am totally with him. The reason why I create content, English content that is initially designed for English speakers is because I value the content rather than particular grammar or pronunciation or all those kind of expressions that people say you have to memorize, you have to know. Content is the king, right? So I can totally relate to this guy. Just because you listen to this particular lecture because this lecture has been promoted that it's going to help you to improve your English within a very short amount of time. Then you can be fluent. You're able to speak English really well. Then honestly, that's all BS. It's all about you, how you can take advantage of that, how you 
practice, right? How much you get from that and how you're going to apply to your life, right? So that's what matters more than anything else, right? So I totally agree with this guy on that point. Okay, so you, you I, I think that we have all um, at some point or, or many of you are still trapped in that pit, okay? What was he talking about? Trap. Oh, you know, if I sign up for this class, you know, maybe my English is going to improve like dramatically, right? And oh, wow, this teacher is saying that, uh, you know, he's going to help me to improve my English so that I can be fluent, right? Don't fall into the trap. You're wasting your time and money. You're trapped in the idea that you can only learn English from a teacher, that you can only learn English when you are watching um, some sort of uh, some sort of lesson or, or, or like a book or a video that has been uh, designed to teach you. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, once you get to a certain level where you feel like your English is pretty good and I strongly recommend you staying away from like those kind of like lectures designed to help you improve your English. So uh, if you go to my channel, if you go to my blog and there are a lot of content available all the content that I deliver, other than expressions or grammar, you know, sometimes every once in a while, you know, maybe once or twice a week, I deliver those kind of content as well for uh, intermediate English learners. However, most of the content that I create, they are really good. They're entertaining, they're educational, they're enlightening. So I take those three pillars into consideration when I create content. So those content, uh, I'm not the one who came up with those content. I'm the one who was researching and watching a lot of videos. And then I chop it down. I cut it down to only, you know, give and take three minute video. And I introduce to them. I introduce to you guys. So you guys can study by yourself, you know, as I explain a lot of expressions, idioms or slang or grammar point on that post. So you are able to study by yourself as long as you know your English is okay, right? Maybe like an intermediate, upper intermediate level. Then I think you know you can make the most of my blog. I'm not like really promoting my blog, but I want you guys to go and see yourself to see what you can do with my blog, right? Uh, there's something that I say very often. Uh, instead of being a homeless person in the United States. Uh, would you rather be Jack Ma? Would you rather be someone who has some accent, whose English is not perfect, right? Because, you know, they were not born in the States. They were not born and raised in English-speaking countries. However, they have knowledge. They have something to talk about. And they have experiences so that they can deliver their message in a clear manner. So what matters is not about pronunciation. How difficult vocabulary you're using. You know, how many idioms and slang you know, right? It's not about that. What matters more than anything else is that you should have content to deliver so that there is a content that you're talking about. That's what matters, right? So let's say uh, you're interested in finance, right? Study finance in English. If you want to improve English and if you want to continue to study English without getting tired is basically you have to study with interesting, exciting content that you are very interested in, you are really wanting to learn. So uh, for me, uh, I'm very interested in self-help, self-development. I'm also very interested in uh, psychology. I'm also a big fan of a uh, investment, particularly uh, real estate investment. So I watch those channels. I listen to those podcasts related to those kind of topics that I'm interested in. So I constantly being exposed to English content, but it's not about me wanting to learn English more. It's more about consuming content that is really beneficial for my life, that is really making me be a better person, you know, knowledgeable person. That's what you should do eventually. If you're like a beginner level, of course, you know, you have to get, you have to get the basics down, such as grammar or vocabulary or, you know, idioms and stuff like that. However, once you feel like, okay, you know, I understand maybe like 60% uh, of a 70% uh, of uh, some YouTube videos that I'm interested in, then you got to keep moving forward, right? There's going to be hurdles. There's going to be uh, roadblocks along the way. However, 
since you are enjoying the content, you are able to overcome those obstacles along the way. So that's what I strongly recommend. You have to study with content, right? It's all for free, you know. And also, once again, my blog can be such a great platform where you get those content that I filtered out of time on your hands without me charging a dime. But anyway, uh, that's my two cents and I hope you take it with a grain of salt. However, and listen to this guy and listen to me and content is the king and persistence is the king. Consistence is the king. And how can you do it? You gotta enjoy it. And content is the king. True mastery of English isn't about memorizing idioms or slangs. It's about building a solid foundation of knowledge. Focus on understanding, not just sounding like a native, and watch how your language skills flourish. I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me, and honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try at anything, so I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life, have to be a better me. I don't think that my.